hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel you guys it's amazing news like we are all excited because what our favorite my favorite couples on the streets of youtube i'm talking about vera and tato just welcomed their baby boy you guys i am so excited i am beyond overwhelmed with joy now me as a fan is this excited can you imagine the excitement of the parents you guys see this couple if you don't know them go and check them out vera and tato they've been giving us premium vibes here on the streets of youtube and i'm just so excited for their miracle that just happened yes vera has been telling us her story she had a c-section and i'm so excited because her doctors really took time to take care of her her mental health her well-being in general and every other thing that needed taken care of because her journey was not easy she had to deal with a lot of health issues before this baby arrived and the, the doctors were very generous with their information you know generally just making sure that she's mentally ready for what is about to go down right this is getting real this is getting real but yeah so like i said i had different doctors and i, I like that because i could get different opinions and not just one the doctor she was a woman and she's from nigeria and she was concerned about the baby's weight even though they kept telling me that ultrasounds may not always be accurate they really felt that this was going to be a big baby so she just gave me the risk and i'm going to put like yeah the, what she said the notes she gave me the risk of trying to deliver vaginally but she said that it was my choice and they were not going to impose a c-section because they don't have the right to make you do what you don't want to do but she told, talked to me about the risk of trying to deliver vaginally and the risk of having a c-section as well so at 36 weeks i started having weekly appointments and i met with another doctor and this one he was white a white male doctor and he also had concerns about delivering vaginally because the baby just kept gaining weight so their main concern was that the i could hurt the baby the baby could have shoulder dystocia is it dystocia <laughs> dystocia while i tried to push him out but they never discouraged me from having a vaginal delivery but they just kept Talk, we just kept talking back and forth, having an open conversation about the risk or whatnot. And then my next appointment was a week later. And between that week, I had gained eight pounds. And the lady I saw, she was Nigerian too. And she was concerned about the same thing. So that's three different doctors I've seen saying the same thing. Now my ears are wide open, you know what I mean? Even though they, they all told me that ultrasounds can be accurate sometimes. They firmly believe that this baby is going to be a big baby and she guys this is a serious case of what god cannot do does not exist because to be honest here god really came through for this couple and i'm particularly excited because vera went through a lot guys vera went through a lot if you've been following her story you know that this couple have been through a lot especially prior to the pregnancy and the entire nine months it actually took her 10 months before the delivery of her baby so you can imagine what she went through guys watching this video here yeah, the delivery vlog i was just in emotional literally shedding tears as she was welcoming her baby boy because being a mom myself who just gave birth a few months ago i know how this feels i know how it feels guys now vera and tato are both um from different countries and they all the both relocated to the united states and that's where they met guys these couple are actually online couple what i do what do i mean by that i mean they met online they met on facebook to be specific can you imagine as in facebook is it joining people together you guys and so they met on facebook and their relationship blossomed and what do we have now a couple that are madly in love with each other thriving together pushing each other's career you know supporting each other gang gang i am just here to say a shout out to tato and vera you guys are the real deals omg especially because 
Vera is African, yeah. And if you've been watching our videos, I remember when I started watching our videos, I was like, oh, more these guys, they are just like parallel opposites, but somehow they're able to get, make their marriage work. And I'm really, really happy for them. I'm really, really rooting for them. And I pray that God helps them scale through this entire postpartum journey. But I just want to take the opportunity to say that the fact that this couple had the kind or rather the level of medical attention they had was one of the reasons why they are um baby came out strong and hearty if you see in that video where she was telling us that the doctors gave her she gave us several opinions that she had to meet different doctors who gave us several opinions and all of that stuff see and one of the things I, i'm sad about is that our health um sector in nigeria is one kind because these are the things that um we would love to experience i remember back in the day yeah where i was pregnant and i was due for labor and i kept asking all these questions i literally had um doctors telling me i asked too many <laughs> questions the man legit told me i asked too many questions because i was curious to know what was going to happen what was going to happen to my body and all of that stuff and he was telling me that it is them that will recommend whether i have a c-section or not not me because some persons say god forbid they don't have six session, six sessions for any reason whatsoever i was of the opinion that i didn't want to go through the stress of having a vaginal bed to be honest because i didn't want to go through pain that's my only reason and you see that's why i opted for c-section and no, to be honest they just declined flat that no that's not going to happen because well they, they get to say what um, is best for me and all of that stuff. I feel like that's one advantage that the U.S. have over us. Another advantage they have over us is the fact that we don't get epidurals. I don't know if um, other people experience it, but I know I remember asking for, and nobody gave to me. I I beat my chest and said, I asked for. I literally said, "Oh fuck, I would like to have an epidural." These people ignored me. <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that. I'm glad that they get to experience the beautiful healthcare that they do. I pray that Nigeria grows to that stage one day. But until then, you guys, we move. Okay? All right, guys. Shout out to Vera and Tato. I congratulate you once again for the presence of your baby boy. I wish you good luck and prosperity and all of that good energy. Okay? All right, guys. That's it on today's episode of Moments with Poem. Please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more updates. Thank you very much you know like and share this video leave a comment in the comment section let me know what you think and all of that good stuff okay until we meet next time in my next video you guys it is adios from me Mwah. bye